Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord. Ah, the word works. Pat's going to help me a little bit. You can't see her. She's the camera person. We're going to a ball game with one of my granddaughters. I got some chewing gum down here. And I reached down there. There's only one piece left. So I said, Pat, did you get a piece of my chewing gum? To which she answered, yes. Yes. And I said this. So you think, help me, Pat, that what is mine is... Is is mine exactly because we have help me pat a, a covenant, covenant relationship. relationship because she is my wife we're in covenant it's a blood covenant we're together then whatever is mine is hers and whatever is mine is hers i started to say. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the relationship that you have with the father god yes see one of our granddaughters is living with us she doesn't come in in the afternoon and say can i have a cracker she doesn't go in and say, can I have an apple? Because I'm her father, grandfather, and we are providing for her. She just knows that if it's mine, we bought it, and it's in our cabinet or on our table, she can partake of it. And I have to just say this. This is what it says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything, according to his will. Now, Pat, help me here. Where am I going to find his will? In the Word. The so, Word gives us specifically his will. So, if I ask anything according to his Word, mm -hmm. then watch this. It says, if I ask anything according to his will, then I know, I know that I have the petitions that I have desired of him. I left part of that out. But here's the key. It's not based on my goodness. It's not based on the fact that I deserve it. It's based on my faith. Pat, I want you to share this right quick because when Gloria and Kenneth built their house, you were going around making a statement and God showed you something. Can you do that for me, please? Yes. I remember just rejoicing with uh, Gloria Copeland and just saying, Father, I'm just so grateful that she's got this beautiful home. She deserves it. And boy, he corrected me so quickly. He said she didn't get it because she deserved it. She got it because she asked for it. Come on. Because the word says you have not because you asked not. Well, turn that around. You have because you asked. Come on, preach. So she, he, he corrected my thinking as believers need their thinking corrected that you get what you ask for, not what you deserve or you think you deserve or think you don't deserve. And it's not based on my performance. You didn't take that piece of gun because, gum because you're a good wife. That's right. You took it not because you deserved it. That's right. <laughs> you took it because it's mine and what's mine is yours. Yes. So whatever you find in the covenant of God, it's yours and God wants you to have it. Hey, I have to I have to add this. Okay, go Jesus ahead. Jesus said, and Paul said, all things are yours. Jesus said, all things that the Father hath are mine and I give them to you. So what is included? All things. It's amazing what a piece of chewing gum will do with you, do for you when you're filled up with the word of God. Hey, y'all have a great day. Until we're with you tomorrow, remember, Jesus is Lord. And the, the word, word works. works.